Hi there, I'm Marley, this is Marley's Crystal Ball and today we are looking at the big one Celtic vs Rangers. Once again I point your attention to another upgraded badge, it sure makes a difference from that slimy mess I had Celtic using last season. Last time out we predicted a 1-0 win for Celtic over Aberdeen and well, we were a few goals short of the mark, 4 actually, as Celtic won 4-1. Hmm. But as we are just about to get started with the derby, just remember whatever the result, it's the taking part that counts, it's about having fun and getting fit. Brace yourselves as Celtic get is kicked off. Nice passes between Tierney and Rogic, Rogic who's made a move forward, Sinclair collects the ball, Rogic is still in his run, collects the ball, shoots and it's a goal! 8 minutes in, Rogic finds the bottom right corner and Celtic take the lead early on, just 8 minutes in I believe. Celtic with the first chance of the match, score the first goal of the match. Rogic collects the ball from Sinclair and fires into the bottom right corner, 1-0, only 11 minutes in. Ball's played over the top for Miller, he's good in these positions, he's got his back to goal though. He's looking for a pass, he turns away one Celtic defender, beats him again. It's Miller going for the far right corner himself and scores. Kenny Miller equalises just as you'd expect him to do. Rangers back in the game already. I think Miller was waiting on some options here, but as that Celtic defence is just far too slow to react, Miller thinks I'll have a shot here. And the goalie is nowhere near it, it's 1-1. Celtic's defence is all over the place, it's Tavernier, he's good from these positions. Puts a good cross in for Miller and it's just beyond him. Scott Brown on the ball, turns, finds Sinclair. Sinclair shoots and it's just wide. Rogic looking for the 1-2 with Griffiths. Griffiths is going to have a shot himself here, it's blocked and into the arms of Fodderingham. Oh, Rangers lose the ball here and Griffiths could be an on goal. Instead he opts to finds Forrest. Forrest shoots instead of passing and it's saved. So it's Jenko the centre back on the corner, not sure about that but... Plays it short, ball's whipped in, Rangers get it clear and it falls to Scott Brown with the shot and it's a great save from the Rangers keeper. Rangers just can't get out at the minute, they're really struggling to deal with the pace of this Celtic attack as it's Kieran Tierney on his right foot, it's blocked. And it's going to be Tom Rogic with the shot, it's off the post and Rangers finally get it cleared. As Lustig brings it forward, the referee blows for half time, I'm struggling to understand how this game is still 1-1 as Senderos and Kiernan talk amongst themselves, they're going to have to... Really dig in if they're going to stop Celtic from scoring another in the second half. Yeah, you can see there, Celtic 8 shots for on target compared to Rangers 1, but they did score from that one chance. Very clinical. Celtic are going to have to be wary of that. Rangers get that second half underway. Will it be more of the same pressure from Celtic, or can Rangers find a way to get up the park? As Lee Wallace takes a bad touch there, and Celtic win the ball already. Ball's played through to near Buton. Chips it over the top for Sinclair. On the volley! Goal! Sinclair scores straight from kickoff! Rangers lost the ball in that dangerous area. It's a really good run in behind from Sinclair who is found by Beaton. And what a volley that is to make it 2-1. Rogic holds off Rossiter, he's played it into Griffiths who's in, hits the post. And it could fall to James Forrest who makes it 3-1. It was Griffiths with the initial shot, you'd expect him to score that himself. But Forrest taps it into an empty net and makes it 3-1. Celtic still looking for more goals as they're opening up the Rangers defence. Well it's Lee Griffiths with the shot, great save by Fodringham. And Griffiths follows up and makes it 4-1 now. Griffiths finally gets his goal. You have to feel for this virtual Rangers keeper. Yes, that is a sentence that has left my mouth, but Griffiths follows up after a good save and it's 4-1 now. Rangers have got nothing to lose now as they throw players into the Celtic box. Initial pass from Forrester blocked, but it's Miller with a snapshot. And that's a good save from the Celtic keeper. Both sets of players starting to tire now as Tierney's allowed to get a free cross into the box here. It's headed away and Rogic with the overhead kick. <laughs> Another save by Fodderingham. Surely that's going to be it. And yes, it is all over. Marley's crystal ball predicts a pretty convincing win from Celtic 4-1. It might be the, the boldest prediction we've ever had in Marley's crystal ball, but the Rangers keeper, they are unlucky to concede four goals themselves. But the final match stats speak for themselves. Even if it's not 4-1 to Celtic, I do expect a high-scoring game with both teams' defences not in the best of shape. That's what Marley's crystal ball predicts anyway. Let us know your score predictions in the comments. Enjoy the game at the weekend. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.